Hello and welcome friends. I hope everybody is having a great day so far. If you are new here, welcome. And I hope you'll uh, consider hitting that subscribe button and sticking around. And if you are back, welcome back. I greatly appreciate all of the continuing support. Um, today's video I am filming is going to be more geared towards uh, people who are interested in diamond painting, starting out diamond painting, and don't have um, a lot of knowledge about it. And so you're either interested in starting the craft or you're a brand new beginner and um, like a lot of kits give you the instructions, but this is a video instruction um, that I'm gonna be doing. We are ready now to start your diamond painting. We have done the kitting up process and um, the main thing to remember is that this glue underneath this clear plastic um, covering is going to be sticky, so do your best not to rest your hand in, so I don't advise pulling back a huge portion of the cover at the time. Um, so we're going to start off by loading our pen with the wax, and so in order to do, oh, sorry, I'm dropping, in order to do that, this one actually tells you to peel it off, but if it doesn't, they always have this little plastic sheet. So you want to peel that off. And then you can see from the tip of the pen, it's uh, empty. So all I'm going to do is just press that down into the wax, give it a little twirl, and then if I lift it back up and it focuses, you can see the wax inside of the pen. So now the pen is ready to go. Um, you want to keep this handy because the wax will, over time, kind of just wear out and wear down. And then we're going to look at this drill field. And I'm going to start up in this upper right corner here. Um, and start by working on these ends. So if you can see, uh, you might be able to see more in the little um, equal sign, but there's a tiny circle around the symbol. And that is where we want to place our drill. So as best as we can, we want to try to center that drill over the um, circle, which is called a guide circle. And then we just want to press down and let it stick and then pull our pen back off. And we want to try to keep it as centered as possible. Uh, you can go back and you can straighten the drills after. Um, so I'm going to be looking for that N, N symbol. So on our chart here, we just go down and we look for the N, which is right here, and it's number 17. So then I'll go to my kitting up, and I will find the 17 jar. I will put some drills in my boat. And then I just kind of give it a nice little shake. Um, as you can see, this is a completely uh, white drill compared to the gray. So that's just the color that got mixed in. I don't want to use that, so I'm just going to take it out so I don't accidentally use it. Um, but yeah, so basically you just want to kind of shake your drills um, as best as you can to line up in the grooves. And the ones that are facing up are the ones that you want to use first. Uh, you can reshake again once you kind of use up a bunch and get them flat. Um, so I'm just going to pull back the cover a tiny bit at a time. Not a lot. Um, when you're first getting into diamond painting, you can kind of see that um, you'll be using a single. This is what we call single placing. So I will pick up a drill onto my pen and the glue and the clay that you use just kind of helps it. Oh. <laughs> oh, why is this glue not? Okay, there we go. Okay. So yeah, you can just see the drill on the tip of the pen there. And of course my camera does not want to focus. There you go, you can see it, it's there, it's ready to go. And I just center that over the end. Now to make my hand more steady, I will rest it 
on the edge of the canvas or the plastic. Um, that just helps give a little bit more control. But there. And then I place it right over the end. And then I go back and I pick up another drill. Place it onto the end. And I just keep doing that for the section I'm working on and the color that I'm working on. And I'm just going to do a couple here and then I'll get lifted up and let you guys kind of see what it looks like. going to get a second row of a couple going here. And of course, as you get more comfortable with this process, you will go faster and quicker. And if you do discover that you like diamond painting and that you enjoy it and that it's something you're going to continue to do, then um, you can definitely some kits which are more of a deluxe kit um, you can buy what they call multi-placers and they're just little tips that'll go on the um, opposite end of the pen here and then that allows you to multi-place more than one drill at a time and those come in various amounts and I will, I am planning on making a video on multi-placing and how to do it and how to kind of get started on that. Um, so definitely if this is a video that you end up watching and once I get around to getting that other video out, I would highly recommend checking that out too once you've gotten kind of comfortable with this whole process and sometimes you'll bump your tray like I did and that's fine. Um, you just kind of straighten things up again, give it a little shake. Um, and yeah, so what I will do now is just kind of show you this little bit that I've worked on. And I'm just following um, the drill field, placing them on the ends. And so that's what it looks like uh, currently. So that's really how you diamond paint. And so you can work in whatever fashion you want. You can work all, um, kind of go this way. You can go this way. You can start at the bottom, work your way up. Uh, you can start at the right and work your way left. Um, there's no incorrect way to uh, diamond paint. You're gonna obviously find what's best and most comfortable for yourself. Um, and also it's going to depend probably if you're right-handed versus left-handed too because like I said you do want to avoid um, resting your hand or items on the stick sticky part of the glue because that's what you want your drill to attach to and if you uh, get it gunked up too much that stick will will disappear um, but that's how you diamond paint, and so then you just continue to do that. You work slowly, whether you're working left to right, or however, and you just work little sections at a time is the best way to go, I find. Um, yeah, so I hope this video is helping you out as you start your journey in, in, into, di uh, into diamond painting. And I bumped my light. <laughs> I hope this uh, video helps you into your journey to diamond paint and it's really not a complicated process and a lot of it is just diving in, starting to diamond paint and getting comfortable with it and finding out what works best for your, how your workflow and your process is. Like I said, there's going to be little things that you change up. Like whether or not you get into multi-placing, your kitting system you'll discover. Another video that I'm hoping to do is um, just on kind of some upgrades and accessories that'll make it a little bit, um, that I found anyways, has made it a little bit more efficient for myself. I am hoping to do that video as well as the multi-placing one. Um, 
yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that is something that will come in handy for you, and I hope you'll hit that subscribe button. Consider sticking around. I do lots of unboxings on this channel. I like to share small shops that have diamond painting accessories. I do my whip and chat where I pull out a work in progress and I'll work on that and just kind of chat about how my weeks or week, weeks, months, whatever it ends up being, some events that are going on that have that I'm working on and I just kind of chat in a way and those are great while you're working on your own project whether it's diamond painting or another craft. They're also great to listen to while you're bombing around your house cleaning up or cooking dinner or just getting stuff done and uh, while well, I keep you company. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great one. Bye.